We're back now with a, with a story that's brand new tonight. The Chesapeake Bay's blue crab has been a staple food source in Maryland dating back to the 1600s. But now a group of engineers from the University of Maryland are using those uh, crab shells that usually end up in the trash to make batteries. Kind of amazing, right? Yeah. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath got cracking to show us how these <laughs> so-called crab batteries work. Imagine the battery in your phone being made from this. Well, not all of this, but from a biodegradable electrolyte found in its shell. So what do you currently do with dead crabs and crab shells? I mean, right now, I mean, all we do is just throw them in the trash. And Bethesda Crab House isn't alone. Chucking dead crabs and shells in a can is a common practice among restaurants and crab distributors. Do you have any idea during the busy season how many crabs and crab shells you throw away daily? In the whole entire summer, I would say around probably like 10,000 pounds of, you know, shells. But those protective casings are proving to be a key ingredient when it comes to harnessing renewable energy. You see, crab shells can be processed into a material called chitosan, which is a critical component in zinc ion batteries. If we can use those materials, then we, we not only solve the CO2 emission problem, but we also solve the problem of the waste. Lin Zhu and a team of researchers at the University of Maryland's Center for Materials Innovation have been studying the environmental benefits of using crab shells in batteries. Kydazin has been found to be biodegradable, which means it can break down naturally within five months compared to traditional lithium ion batteries, which can take hundreds or thousands of years to decompose. That's the reason why we try to uh, really commercialize this technology and make it to be in everybody's cell phone or electric vehicles or more. And it turns out this Maryland delicacy, which is easy for us to crack, also has remarkable strength when it comes to batteries. It has a very good mechanical strength. You can, you can stretch it, you can try to deform it, but you will not make it crack. So how do you get a crab from this to this? It's like those kind of uh, fiber shipped materials. Through a series of sodium hydroxide treatments, which converts the shells to chitosan. Right now, Lin and his colleagues are making small battery prototypes with plans to fabricate larger batteries that can eventually store renewable energy for power plants. I'm meteorologist Kate McGrath, WUSA 9.